I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We had practice examination questions and here are solutions. So I picked up one of the questions from our practice test. It is consider a cylinder of radius r with fixed capacity of 1000 centimeter cube. Part A is show that the surface area of the cylinder is A equals to 2 pi r square plus 2000 over r, where r is the radius of the cylinder, right? And part B is, show that the rate of change of area with respect to the radius is 0 when r cube equals to 500 over pi. So you can actually pause the video at this stage, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So at this stage, we are actually checking the skills of writing equations and working with them, right? So what we are given here is the capacity, which means volume, right? So we know volume of cylinder is what? Let me write down volume of cylinder. Volume formula, as you know, is pi r square h. And we are given this volume as 1000 right so so that is how it is given now we need to find the surface area surface area formula is given independent of h so we could actually adjust this particular formula we can say h is equals to 1000 divided by pi r square means makes sense right so let me call this as our equation number one now let's look into the area part uh, we know surface area of a cylinder is what? It is, we have two circles, one on the top and one at the bottom, that is pi r square, plus the lateral area, which is 2 pi r h. So in this particular formula, we can replace h with what we just found. So we can say this is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r times 1000 over pi r square correct so so that becomes the value of h now this can be simplified we can cancel pi we can cancel one of the r's and rewrite the expression as area this is the surface area which is 2 pi r square plus 2000 over r correct and i think that is what we wanted so that is how you can actually prove it. So area is 2 pi r square plus 2000 over r. Now part B is show that the rate of change of this area with respect to radius is zero. So what we need to find now is rate of change of area with respect to the radius, correct? That is what we need to figure out and is, and and find the condition when this is equal to zero and that condition should be r cube equals to 500 over pi okay so let's take it on the next page right fine so what we already have is that the area is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2000 over r so rate of change means will differentiate area with respect to the radius. So when you do that, you get 4 pi r here. This is r to the power of minus 1. So you get minus 2000 over r square. Correct? So the derivative of this. So basically what I did was at this stage, we are showing dA over dr. Let me write down. Equals to d over dr of 2 pi r square plus d over dr of 2000 over r correct and that is the derivative now if we equate it to zero then we need to show that r values this that is the question correct so let's equate to zero and we can actually uh, multiply this so we get what we get 4 pi r cube minus 2000 
e equals to 0, multiplying everything by r squared. And now we can rewrite and write this as 4 pi r cube equals to 2000. And we can now divide and isolate, right? So doing that, r cube will be equals to 2000 divided by 4 pi. So 4 goes 500 times. And we get the required result, which is r cube equals to 500 over pi. Is that clear to you? So that was required. And that's what we get. It's a very important conclusion. Many times in test papers, you could use this strategy. And here's a very important formula. So basically, you should remember that if the volume is fixed, we have a formula which relates them. So 2000 is twice the value of uh, the volume, fixed volume. And at that stage, rate of change of area with the radius is 500 that means half of the volume divided by pi is that clear to you so that could be used as a general formula many times so, so it's important to write down this as a general formula so we could say that this is in general a equals to 2 pi r square plus twice the volume over r do you get this and here we have r cube equals to whatever volume is given to us half of that times pi so those could be very interesting formulas to remember for a multiple choice test paper i hope that makes sense feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best